Since switching to a Windows 7 on my network, I'm plagued with a problem to where when I start Windows, when Windows 7 first starts up, I get a message that says cannot uh, reconnect all network drives. Uh, I've got a fresh install of Windows here to uh, demonstrate the problem. Um, first, we'll go in and we'll add a user credential for my server. Server name is mother, username Mars, password, and then to test that we will map a drive letter. You can see that mapped fine. And now we'll simply restart the computer. And you'll see my message I've been plagued with there. Could not reconnect all network drives. If you pull up uh, Windows Explorer, you'll see the network drive and it'll have an X through it. Uh, you can just click the drive though and it shows up magically. Some, some most applications will not reconnect the drive. So if you've got an application that needs to uh, get data or retrieve any settings off the server, it usually will fail to start. Um, very few applications will, however they're accessing the server drive, will kind of push that drive um, open and when you pull up Explorer that one would not have an X. The only thing I found to fix it, and I have did many things, firewalls off and on, to try various settings, home network, uh, work network, um, but the one thing I have found that does fix it is to hard code uh, the IP of the computer. And to demonstrate that, we'll just give this guy an IP on my network. And we'll restart. And when we come back up here, you'll notice that I do not have the uh, pop-up dialog stating that I couldn't reconnect to the network drives. And if I open it, you can see the drive letter didn't have an X through it. Everything's fine. Uh, just to replicate that, we will go back in. Set it to obtain an IP and DNS automatically. And reboot again. And as you can see, my error dialog is back. 